Hello there. Today I will talk about the Excel tables and explain how useful they are. Let's move to the raw data that I have in Excel. And this is the download of the usage of electricity. And we can use this one as the source to make uh, the example of creation of tables. You can see just uh, gray data. It does not have any formatting or uh, it's not quite readable. We can change this directly with one click. If we click on the control T and then enter, we will create a table on that. Alternatively, you could go to the insert tab and click on the table there. Once we have a table here already, it's not uh, active, but when you don't have, you can click there and create it uh, there. So either way works uh, what you prefer. When you have a table, you can see that uh, it has the filters there directly. So you don't uh, have to create them manually. It is automatically there. And uh, one of the uh, features that is automatically there as well is when you scroll down, you can see the first um, rows, they will stay above. So you don't have to go to the view and uh, freeze the panes. You have it directly there when you are working with tables. The selection of the tables, it can be useful when you want to delete data and move in a, a new one. It can be done uh, by the cursor over by the shortcuts. I will show you the first way. When you go to the in the corner of the table, you have uh, like uh, different types of uh, arrows there. When the arrow looks like um, like this, you will click on that and you will select um, the date of the table. You will click the second time and you will select the complete table, including the headers. Or if you prefer the keyboard shortcuts, and that is my preferred way, you will click on the control A, you will select the data of the table, and second times A, you will select the headers as well. Quite easily, you can sele select uh, columns and rows, like with the cursor, you will go there, you will select the column, second times, you will select including the header, and with the rows, it's working in the same way, or by using the shortcuts like control and space select the column data space second time select the headers and when you want to select a row that is a shift and space and you have the row also uh, columns are quite dynamic in the table if, if you select them you can just drag and drop them in another place of the table if you want one of the best features that I find in tables is that if you want to add uh, extra columns there and you are directly next to the table, when, for example, we want to enter another column there, price, I will enter it and I will click on enter. It is directly the part of the existing uh, table, so you don't have to include it. It is there. And if you enter the some expressions in the table, you don't have to copy them down uh, the column. It will be automatically done. Let's enter some expression here, actually the number with the equal sign. I will enter the average electricity price, for example. And when I click on enter, you can see that this is copied directly through the column. So in the old ways, we were entering some expressions and then we were double clicking on the, in the corner there. But when you are working in tables, it is automatically done. You don't need to take any other uh, actions. And if you want to make changes in the expression, or in this case, in the numbers, if you want to change this number, for example, to eight, you will make a selection in any cell of the column and you will click on enter and it is automatically updated through the column. So it is a very handy and efficient way of working formulas and expressions and it saves time well the tables um, are quite useful and it's good to give them a name as well when you are inside the table you will see the extra tab here the table design if you click it there you will see some um, options there for the formatting if you want to change the colors and so on you can make it there or make the header rows visible and some other options. 
If you don't want the table anymore, you can convert it to range uh, here directly. You will click there and um, it's a range. The formatting will stay, but all the other um, advantages of the table, uh, they will disappear. It can be the case you don't want the table anymore. And um, we can make it again back to the table. So when you are in the table design, you can give it uh, a name, like, uh, Tron, for example. And uh, whenever you use um, the data from this table, the table name will be visible. So it's quite easy to identify. If you want to resize the table, it can be done uh, from here as well. You will click on the resize. And then here is the selection of the table. If you want to make the changes or if you want to double check if the selections are correct, correct you will do it here and click on the OK. Another um, very uh, good feature of the tables is, let's select it. When you have the table data selected, in the corner you will see some uh, quick uh, analysis uh, icon. If you click on that, you have a lot of options there directly available. Like if you want to make um, build some simple charts on that or tables or spark lines, it can be directly done from there. But let's go to totals and let's uh, sum the columns. At the end, I will click on the sum and at the end of the table, I have some directly. So I don't have to enter the uh, functions uh, manually. And if you don't want the sum and you, you want it to be the average, you will change it directly here. So one of the features that makes the life easier and much more efficient. Tables are, are quite a good way to use as a source for the pivot tables and pivot charts as well. You will go to insert and build a pivot table or chart on that or like for the pivot charts, you, you can do it directly from the table design. And when you have, uh, when you are using a table as a source for the pivots or for the power pivot for Excel, then it, it's easier to monitor the data. It is more readable. And when you make uh, it updates, it is uh, easily updated. So it is quite a preferable way to use tables as a source data. You can uh, use um, you can insert the slicers for the table as well, like we do it in the pivot tables. When you are in the table design, you will click on the insert slicer. Let's choose the date here. OK. And we have the slicer and we can slice and dice here if we want. So tables um, were quite improved for the last year, years. It is quite, it makes the life quite easier and uh, the work efficient, it, they are the great source for the pivot tables, pivot charts, and uh, our pivots. So let's use them. Thanks uh, for watching, and uh, bye bye.